Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley, and in this video, um, this will be my third video in the vitamins, minerals, and herbs series that have helped me um, either improve my health or improve something in my life um, cer a certain way. So in this um, video, I'm going to be talking about magnesium. Now this is magnesium glycinate. Um, there are many different forms of magnesium. You can have magnesium oxide, magnesium um, citrate. Mag there's lots of forms of magnesium. Now the original, the reason I started taking these is because I started getting bad migraines and headaches that would not go away <laughs> and they would just leave me feeling terrible. So basically um, what I did is I did a bunch of research and many people that were afflicted with migraines daily, what they did is they started supplementing in high doses of magnesium. And it turns out that most people actually do have a magnesium deficiency because um, it's interesting, the most common form of magnesium in vitamins is magnesium oxide, which is actually has the lowest bioavailability um, out of all the different types of magnesium. So um, even if you're taking a vitamin supplement, it's probably not the best kind of magnesium that can be absorbed like this uh, magnesium glycinate. Um, and it even says here on the back, um, it is not buffered and more absorbable than magnesium oxide. Basically, in all honesty, from my research, what I found, magnesium oxide is almost useless unless you want to use it as a laxative. And um, now, if you're dealing with headaches um, or migraines, which a lot of people honestly do, this might be one of the best options for you. This, um, lots of people go on antidepressants or similar medications to prevent and treat migraines, but if you do research, um, magnesium glycinate is one of the best options to prevent or even cure migraines. Um, and especially if you have a deficiency of magnesium, this is definitely an option. Um, now this is just called Doctor's Best High Absorption, High Absorption Magnesium on Amazon. It's about $12 for this bottle, 240 tablets. Now these are big tablets. They are quite large. But they're 100, they're 100 milligrams of magnesium glycinate per tablet. Um, and that's pretty good. So, um, the minimum, I think the FDA requirements, the minimum for magnesium is daily 400 milligrams for men to 300 milligrams for women. Now, um, and that's absorb, absorbable. So if you're taking 400 milligrams of Magnesium oxide, that doesn't count because not all 400 milligrams of those oxide, not all 400 milligrams of it, it's not going to all get absorbed by your body. Your body's going to use a lot of it or waste a lot of it. So this is definitely a good option. Now, um, if you're into, okay, let me just mention real quick that there's over 300 different um, functions that magnesium plays in your body. So this is a mineral that is very important. So if anything, I would focus on, you know, maybe a multivitamin and supplementing with this mineral. It's super duper important. Um, if you suffer from migraines or really bad headaches, it is essential that you start taking this because it will help. Um, when I before I when I had migraines, before I started supplementing with magnesium, um, I had days where literally for days where I was laying on my couch in bed all day because my head hurt so bad and I felt off balance when I stood up, 
and I just felt like crap, and my head felt heavy, and I felt all fuzzy, and my brain, I just had brain fog, and it was terrible. After about a week of supplementing with high dosages of magnesium glycinate, I was able to walk better. <laughs> I was able to get out of bed. My migraines were definitely not as severe. And I was able to return to do most of the things I was doing before. Not 100% yet, but um, I'm going to give it some more time and see how I do. Now, I started really low, or I started taking 400 milligrams a day. That's four of these a day. Um, that's the minimum requirements. And then I slowly upped it to what I take now daily is 800 milligrams. And people have even recommend taking up to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium a day in order to prevent and treat migraines. So I just want to share this video with you guys. Not only does it treat migraines, but it plays important roles in bone, heart, nerve, and muscle health. So I'm just mostly talking about the benefits of treating migraines with this, but um, if you have insomnia, you know, hard time sleeping, magnesium has been known to improve people's sleep patterns and ability to keep sleeping. Um, it's been known as a relax, a relaxative, um, not a laxative, but relax a tip. I don't even know if that's a word, but if you have a hard time winding down, you have lots of um, anxiety, you cannot relax, uh, magnesium may be um, alternative to taking an antidepressant or something like that. Magnesium um, is great for curing anxiety. Maybe not 100%, but it will make you feel better. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you have a great day.